Nearly five centuries ago, Italians began venturing to the New World. Funded by the governments of Spain, England, and Portugal, 15th century explorers and missionaries arrived on American soil to see what this strange new land had to offer. In 1492, Christopher Columbus, a navigator from Genoa, Italy, discovered North America, although at the time thought he had found Asia. Columbus was followed by fellow Italian explorers, John Cabot and Amerigo Vespucci, who finally declared the Western Hemisphere to be the New World. Vespucci died before the continents he discovered, North and South America, were named in honor of him. Amerigo became America. The earliest Italian immigrants migrated to this country with pride and patriotism. When writing the Declaration of Independence in 1776, Thomas Jefferson adapted the words written by his friend Filippo Mazzei, an Italian philosopher and physician. All men are by nature equally free and independent. Each equality is necessary in order to create a free government. Inspired by these words, Jefferson, with Matze's consent, changed the phrase to read, All men are created equal. During the 17 and early 1800s, these descendants of artist Leonardo da Vinci, composer Antonio Vivaldi, and astronomer Galileo brought art, culture, and higher learning to their adoptive country. In 1852, Italian-born artist Constantino Brumidi was commissioned to paint the frescoes inside the nation's capital. He soon became known as the Michelangelo of the U.S. Capitol. I think uh, most early Italian settlements, if you look at Chicago, even if you look at New York, certainly if you look at San Francisco, were settled by northern Italians, uh, by people who had a tradition of emigration um, that dates back even to the 1600s. So these initial communities consisted of people who left for a variety of reasons. Some of them may already have had money. Maybe they were the second sons in families. Thousands of northern Italian immigrants came as doctors, lawyers, and merchants. They were considered cultured, sophisticated members of society. But America's image of Italians would change between the 1880s and the 1920s when the flow of Italian immigrants would grow from a trickle to a great flood. A small percentage of Italians followed the path of the pioneers and headed west. Since the early 1800s, Italian immigrants had ventured across the American frontier for opportunities. They worked in silver mines in Colorado, Wyoming, and Arizona. Some even found jobs in logging camps in Washington State. Since the gold rush of 1849, Italians were also drawn to Northern California. One immigrant said that if California hadn't been so far away from Italy, all the Italians would have gone in search of heaven. Many Italians found heaven in San Francisco, settling in neighborhoods first on Telegraph Hill and later in North Beach. Most of San Francisco's Italian residents were from Northern Italy. Amadeo Pietro Giannini was one Italian American who found his fortune in the city by the bay. With family capital, Giannini scraped together enough money to open up the Bank of Italy in 1904. Giannini created the country's first branch banking system. Eventually, his bank became known as the Bank of America. 